Welcome to a visual history of Cheyenne Mountain School and the surrounding area of Colorado Springs. The video you are about to see is taken from film shot by Dr. Lloyd Shaw during the 1920s and 30s. Students were enrolled in the entire kindergarten through 12th grade system. Approximately 90 students were enrolled in the high school, which was 9th through 12th. In this photo, a person many students will recognize is Mr. Frank Pop Evans, who taught mathematics and shop at Cheyenne for many years. He died in the early 1990s. In this next photo, another person that most students from that period will recognize is Dr. Lloyd Pappy Shaw. He was superintendent of District 12 from 1916 to 1951. During the time that Dr. Shaw was superintendent of District 12, both the kindergarten and the main building were located on premises of the present Cheyenne Mountain Junior High School. The school conducted numerous activities for students among them, snow skiing for those in high school. In this opening scene, students are skiing on Pike's Peak from 14 mile post near Devil's Playground to Glen Cove. During the early part of the 20th century, the ski lifts, T-bars, chair lifts that we are accustomed to now did not exist. And for many students on these skiing trips, the skiing was actually done in areas where there were no lifts. Students would ski to the bottom of the hill, pack up their skis on the back, climb to the top of the mountain, and come down again, so that by the end of the day, everyone was thoroughly exhausted. In this scene, we see students from Cheyenne at Crescent Ranch, which is located near Divide, Colorado. Today, that's a key place for moving on to Cripple Creek. The school also sponsored camping trips for both boys and girls, and in this scene we see boys skiing during a camping trip taken at Independence Pass on the Continental Divide leading over to Aspen. Some of the personalities in this scene are Dr. Shaw, Dolly Shaw, his daughter, Bill Wyman, and Shelley McMillan. The tradition of good tennis existed even in the 1920s and 30s at Cheyenne School. Here we see the tennis courts located at the east end of the school grounds near the present junior high. Two of the students we recognize playing tennis are Dorothy Kettle Bender and Betty Jean Baker. Another popular sport at Cheyenne Mountain High School was archery. Here students can be seen taking target practice at the east end of the playground. Many of the students made their own bows and arrows in Mr. Evans' shop class. One of the practices of Dr. Shaw was to have as many sports as possible in which all students could participate, both boys and girls. During this early period of the school in the 1920s and 30s, there was no football team, even though there was a football field, which we'll see later on. But by accentuating those sports in which both boys and girls could play, there was certainly an equality. Those students who enjoyed archery would often go on a game of roving at Coral Bluffs, now known as Austin Bluffs, on Farmer's Highway east of Colorado Springs. From these scenes, we see ourselves way out on the plains of Colorado, but today we'd be near Academy Boulevard or Circle Drive in a well-populated area. The purpose of this game of roving was to hit a designated target on the horizon. The target would be chosen by a student, and it could be a yucca plant, a sagebrush cluster, a cow chip, or whatever. Once that target was hit, then the student selected the next object on the horizon 
and the game continued. This scene was shot from the top of Cheyenne Mountain School. On the right is Cheyenne Boulevard, panning up over Cresta Vista towards Mount Cutler. Of course, we recognize that at that time, there was no housing in that area. One of the popular sports at the school was track and field. In this particular meet, Manitou was the opposing team. During that time, in the 1920s and 30s, the pits were filled not with foam rubber, but with sawdust. Also, the fans were able to stand within two feet of the runners and the players. Another interesting aspect of track and field was that the track was covered with cinders. An interesting aspect of Cheyenne Mountain School during this period from the 1920s, 30s, and 40s was that the population of the school remained relatively stable. From kindergarten through 12th grade was housed in the main school and in the small kindergarten school that we see in the background, the adobe style. At this time, the community of Colorado Springs had a population of between 25 and 30,000. And there was no addition or building at Cheyenne School until the late 40s. Another popular club at Cheyenne School was the $5 Ford Club. This club was so named because students, theoretically, were to restrict the cost of preparing cars to $5 each. More than this amount was sometimes spent, and not all the strip downs were Model T Fords. In this section, you'll see students driving in Sweet Potato Gulch or Rat Alley in North Cheyenne Canyon and later you'll see them challenging the clay banks at 19th and Manitou Boulevard. Some of the people we recognize in this section are Otis Elliott, Bud Udick, Fred Baker, and Jerry Bright. So enjoy their driving and enjoy the music. Thank you. 